Hi there, Melody Loomis here from Carney Chiropractic Center. I wanted to share with you a little introduction to this month's blog, which is entitled Six Tips to Help You Stay Cool All Summer Long. We are not even in July yet, and the temperatures have risen above 90, and we are at 100% humidity. So if you are not at the pool, you're probably feeling how can I even go outside? I wanna stay inside in the air conditioning. So we, but at the same time, everybody wants to be able to enjoy the outdoors. So we're gonna give you some tips and tricks for how to stay cool naturally. Um, so let's get started. The first, you've heard us talk a lot about essential oils and this one is peppermint essential oil. So we love peppermint essential oil. In fact, it is my favorite essential oil because it is so versatile. It contains a compound called menthol, which actually helps regulate your core body temperature and bring it down so your body thinks it's cooler than it, is, and than it might actually be. Um, you can take a little, just a couple drops of this, and just one or two drops, rub it all over the back of your neck. Um, this is really gonna cool you down fast. It's even faster than a cooling towel, so I always keep this around. If you have the Vitality version of this, you can put a couple drops in your water bottle and drink it all day long. It also helps cool you from the inside out. So that's number one. Tip number two is to submerge your hands in ice water. Okay, so let's say you're at a summer barbecue party and they have water bottles filled in ice. This is a great way, go act like you're, uh, getting a water bottle and just put your hands in the ice bucket. It, studies have shown because of the blood vessels are closer to the skin and your hands and your feet and your neck, it's the same as taking like a whole plunge in a lake, cold lake or a swimming pool. It'll cool your body just as fast. It'll circulate all the blood. So ice water, you can also use a cooling towel if you wanna buy one of those. And we included a link to buy one on Amazon through our blog, so check that out. The tip number three is take vitamin C. Sorry, I keep bending down because I have props. So I love the Young Living version because it's chewable and it's all whole food. So we definitely recommend whole food based vitamin C, but studies all the way back from the 1950s have shown, and I didn't even realize this until we started researching it, that vitamin C helps your body adapt better to heat and cold. So you'll sweat less, your core temperature will stay lower and you won't overheat. So this is a blessing in disguise and it keeps your immune system healthy all, all summer long. So get a whole food version. This one is from Acer Acerilla, I think cherries and um, Camu Camu. And chewable vitamin C, or you could get powdered vitamin C. We include link to that as well in the blog. You can buy it on Vitacost or Thrive Market. Just get a high quality, make sure it's whole food vitamin C. Now vitamin C is water soluble, so it will not stay in your body very long, so you wanna um, take it multiple times a day to get the three to 500 milligrams we recommend to stay cool. Next is smaller, spicier meals. Okay, so it's not just what you eat, it's also how you eat. So those of us on cellular healing diet, keto diet, paleo diet, we're eating higher fat um, foods and moderate protein. That unfortunately can actually raise your core body temperature during, during the summer, which is not not something that keto dieters want to hear it's because it's uh, heavier meals and more complicated proteins, so it takes more energy to digest, so your body creates more energy, more ATP to deal with the protein and the fat structure. So that's not saying just binge eat on sugar and carbs all summer. That's saying if you are on these diets and to keep a healthy diet, you wanna space out your meals and eat them smaller meals throughout the day. So don't, at a cookout, don't have a humongous plate of potato salad and hamburger and hot dog and everything all at once. Um, eat small amounts of protein every two hours throughout the day when you're outside to really keep your uh, core temperature lower so that you don't overheat by accident. In fact, the worst thing you could do is actually eat ice cream when you're outside. You'd think because it's cold, it would make you feel cooler, but actually because it's a complicated protein and um, high fat content, it also will raise your core temperature. On the other end of the spectrum is your spicier foods. That actually tricks your body into producing more sweat because uh, of the way it interacts with the salivary glands. So you're gonna cool off faster eating spicier foods and it increases your metabolism. So you'll be bikini ready <laughs> if you eat spicy foods, small increments throughout the day. All right, so the next step is stay hydrated. Um, we, we recommend double helix water or ultra, um, reverse osmosis purified water. Um, guys, long gone are the days of Brita filters. We really should get a really high quality filter um, for water in your household. Water is just not pure the way it was. So as a result, 
all of the chemicals we're putting in our water to purify it are then um, you were losing a lot of the nutrients and the pH balance that water is meant to do for to hydrate our bodies. And since our bodies are mostly in water, we need to find better ways of staying hydrated because just regular tap water or um, carbon filters are not going to cut it. So get a reverse osmosis filtration system. You can either get one for under the sink. We have a cooler in our office and the same one in our house. And um, another step is to drink coconut water. So if you need to get hydrated fast, drink coconut water. Our family loves the Zico brand. Not sure if I'm saying that right, because it is just 100% pure coconut water. There's no added fructose. So you have to watch when you buy these brands, a lot of them on the labels will say fructose or added sugar. That's not what you want. But coconut water has been shown to hydrate your body so fast. So we actually use this for all illness related, um, dehydration for when people are throwing up and whatnot to get hydrated really quickly and help feel better faster. So this is a really essential ingredient for staying hydrated in the summer. And when you do, you stay cooler. And the last thing is skip the booze. <laughs> okay, so we all love margaritas by the poolside. Uh, however, alcohol actually will have a really, has a really dangerous effect um, because it will make you feel like you're not as warm, but it, while raising your core temperature, which can lead to dizziness, dizziness and nausea. We do not want that. So if you're gonna drink outside, um, which everybody likes to do, just make sure you're, for every alcoholic drink you're drinking, you're downing a bottle of water um, to stay hydrated so that your body can kind of re-regulate that core temperature. Okay, or just don't drink at all. <laughs> Find something healthier. And add, try adding water and peppermint to, or. Try adding lemon and peppermint essential oil to your water to, if you, especially for people that don't prefer the taste of water, um, to add essential nutrients and um, stay even cooler. All right, I thank you, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out our blog this month on carnicairo.com slash blogs uh, for some of those links of where to buy those products that I mentioned here. Thanks, have a great day.